the Purple Black. Hi, this is 8-Bit Rocket Jeff Fulton here. This is a video to go along with our podcast, Season 3, Episode 11, about the games of John Williams. So we're going to go through six games on this video. The first five are for the Atari 8-Bit series. Those are Jet Boot Jack, Burks 4, Baby Burks, Major Blink, and Time Slip. And then we're going to look at Paramax for the Atari ST. Here is the first one. It's Jet Boot Jack in action. And I'm going to be quiet now and let you listen to my frustration playing these games. No, I'm trying to go down. Oh, okay. This game's really hard. It looks fantastic. It's really hard. Why does it keep getting me? I apologize for not being very good at this game. I don't know the gameplay mechanic. Like I'm not quite sure what that is, but it's... Why did I die there? Oh, as a half on a lift and half off a lift. How do I get down further? That's what I want to know. And like time's running out because I don't know what I'm doing. Said, that's what I said before. These games look fantastic. I just need some instructions. Okay, well, let's move on to the next one. Well, I'm using Altera for this. A boot, a new image. The next game would be Burks 4. Select instructions. Roam the labyrinth, collecting keys to gain access to the crystal chamber. When you find the crystal, you will be awarded the password for the next world. Beware the Burks who wander aimlessly around the rooms in the labyrinth. Drones home in on your position and can only be stunned for a short time. Difficulty increases for each new world. I'm sure difficulty is really... Um, Cool, map and everything, okay. Press. 
Okay. So I can destroy the Burks. And there's a key over there. They, they are they are homing in on me like there's no tomorrow. You can really shoot in this game now. It's awesome. Okay, so now I can go to the next room. So you see this is like a combination of like Berserk and Robotron. Get out of here. Really well done too, John. Although, I don't find it. Oh, okay, there's another door. Ah, came back in. I want to be able to shoot this thing. Ah, uh, you just, you just hold, <laughs> I got it now. You just hold the button in the way you want to go, the way you want to shoot. Uh, that's an awesome mechanic. Uh, I can only stun those guys. So can I? Uh, even when they're stunned, I can't go by them. So I, I guess we'll. Be... Okay. So you stay in one place. Hold the button. Let's just do th this. Makes for a fantastic video, by the way. Okay, this is awesome. Okay, so that is uh, Burks 4. Okay, then now we're going to do Baby Burks. So we're going, and this is this was originally released last year, and then John made a new version of it. Baby Burks. Select school trigger to start. Okay, similar, similar mechanic. You hold the button down and you fire. So you got this like, oh, and Baby Burks, I think it's a smaller game and it's only on one screen. So let's see. Like you, you have to kill, it's like Robotron where you have to kill all the Burks, then you move to the next screen. It's, you'd think it'd be arcadey, and it is. I can't kill that guy. Oh, I see. Okay. When they, uh, oh, J.W. John Williams. Okay, so I'm. Which ones? Can, okay, I can shoot these guys then. Okay, so those are the ones I can shoot. If I get, okay, I can't shoot those. They stun those. There, I made it clear the other way, but this is not easy. Okay, so so if I shoot those that way, hold on a second. Yeah, so those hatch the bird, the baby birds. They're hatching. I got it. Okay. This is a hard game. Okay, so the next one that we're going to try is, let's um, boot image. 
we are going to do with the baby Burks. We're going to do Burks baby Burks 2020 and see what John added to it. Okay, so these have to baby Burks have to hatch before I can shoot them. I know that this was ported to the 5200, so then he also changed it a little bit and ported it. I don't know what he changed, per se, but it's still a neat, these are really neat games. It's something like you can get the hang of it if you play it enough. Ooh. Now I move on to the next wave. Ooh. I'll wait for them to hatch or I hatch them myself, I guess. Oh, there's one that I hatched. Anyway, fast action, arca colorful arcade games with multicolored sprites. That's what John Williams is known for. And, okay, next one. Okay, so we're through Burke's games. Now we're going to do Major Blink, which is another interesting one before we get to Time Slip. We may try Jet Blue Jack again to see if there's any instructions at the beginning, but I don't know. Do, do, do. Help screen, option, help screen. Let's do that. Uh, is that F1? I don't know. Uh, four, it's help screen. Fill all the boxes to complete a screen. Drones home in on your position and can only be stunned for a short time. Beware of the cool bears who will undo all of your hard work. Your game will be over if the bonus timer falls to zero. Difficulty increases for each new world. I don't know if it's getting my voice loud or not. But... Okay, so you go like this. So this is the, got the Amador, Amador style um, complex here. So these guys you can only stun. You can shoot those guys. I'm running out of time. And so, there's one thing about John's games that they're always hard. And he uses every trick in the book to get multicolored characters on the screen. Smart dude. kind of hovering around that one I need to get to. Now if I shoot them, I don't think I can go through them, so. Let's shoot these guys. I don't know if I... Okay, that's just positive. Okay, maybe I've drawn them out a little bit. Oh. Okay, well, 
I know one thing, if you do die, that you can quick more quickly make it back to the spot where you need. And then make it to the next level. I don't know if when they're, if you can go through them. Let me try something here. I was trying to see if when they're empty, you can go through them. Let's try one more. No, because they're just blinking. Yeah, I don't want to, I'm not trying to kill them off all my lives. Same mechanic as in Burks, where there's some people you can stun and some that you can kill. And same awesome use of all the technical features of the 8-bit computer. Okay, that is my foray um, into Major Blink. Now we're going to do Time Slip 2020. I know there was an early version of Time Slip, but I'm going to play the 2021 only. Nineteen eighty six version, yes, there was. Okay, normal briefing option, briefing. Oops, expert, I don't want that. Okay, select so like practice. Practice, I like that. Novice, uh, briefing option. Time slip. Your mission is to synchronize the zone time clocks to zero. This can only be done, excuse me, it can only be achieved after destroying the 12 time orbs in each zone. You only have 24 hours to complete the task. Time is lost after every collision, but you can gain extra time by destroying fuel pods. All right, let's start this puppy up. After every five collisions, a time slip occurs, which causes the zone clocks to be randomly altered. Any zones that you had cleared and zeroed will not be affected by the time slip. After collisions, you may keep the fire button pressed to speed through the mission messages. Use a joystick to select the zone of operation and then press the fire button to commence action. Pressing the space while traveling will set the zone free and cause it to stop at the next hour mark. Press P to pause. There are three skill levels to choose from, plus a practice mode. The skill level determines the speed of the main time clock and the amount of time lost after each collision. Practice mode allows you longer to play but you're not able to score points all right i'm just gonna have to start this okay so here's time slip you got three scrolling zones and i'm just gonna so the top well, i'm in the top now i'm scrolling and ah uh, no okay so so there's fire to resume now i can re I can resume the top one again if I want to. And it's very light, limited amount of space and you get killed a lot. But, and look at in zone two. Let's play zone two and you'll see your jet boot jack in in zone two. Let me go down here. So your jet boot jack in zone two. Actually, you're always going left, always going right to left. Okay. I'll be jet boot jack again. But it's... And some of the mechanics of the shooting looks a little bit like um, Zeppelin. These blocks that you shoot and things like that. Ugh. Yes, I'm, I'm not great. Let's get to the... We should reduce it 10 minutes. Time slip. Okay, so let's go down to the summary now. Oh, oh I thought I was going to be in the summary. 
Uh, okay. Let's lock in the submarine triumph slip now. So that's the bottom one. Ugh. Oh, this game deserves a lot more time. There's so little space to maneuver in this game, but I said John's games are beautiful and they're constructed really well and great game mechanics. They're just hard as heck. And that is the problem for me especially, but maybe it's just better just to dodge these guys. Hold back. That reminds me a lot of Zeppelin. Let's go up to the top zone again. At least you can keep on dying. Let's go up the top zone again. I can select the top zone again. Right, let's see if we can do better here. Just stay kind of at the top for a little while and see if we gonna get... Oh! You can hit the trees! I love his use of the four color, the five color um, mode. Five color tile mode and different colors on each one. Is a Jeppu Jack B Jeppu Jack level in time slip? Okay, so I forgot. Now I know that if you hold backwards, it helps you a little bit because you can. Oh, I didn't want to go up. Let's see. Let's see if it starts me from where I left off or if I have to start over again. Prepare to resume. So let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, boy. Wow. What, a, what an incredible game. Incredible action in this game. Oh, oh, oh. Ghost. Okay, one more. I'll go down to the summary level for one more, and then we'll move on to the Atari ST game you made, Paramax. Okay, so now I know a little bit better. Oh, okay. This one's really hard, but I like the little sea monsters. Um, Keep on hitting that thing. I'm focusing in front of me and not where I am, but that's what happens with me. That's it. Got to hold back a little bit. Oh! There's got to be a way through there. I mean, there is. Just shooting better and holding back. So I guess I shouldn't act like it's a mystery that... So I pull back too far, and then I go, okay, one more submarine try, and then we'll go move on to the ST game. All right, well, you're going to have to try that game for yourselves because it's a fantastic game. We are going to start. in our Steam window, which is interesting. It does so many weird things off to the side over here. Um, we are going to go to the hard drive, games, P, which this is the, Paramax is the hard drive version by 8-bit chip. And let's read. Let's do the read me first. 
anything interesting about this show? Not a lot. And run me dot toss. Let's do L for unlimited lives. Something you need in this game. Ah, oh, that doesn't. I need to make this even bigger. That's of twelve. Let's let's try to get us a little bit more um, to display the screen here. And I'm using Steam to record, but. Okay, here's Paramax. Now, you're not gonna get the sound exactly the way it should be with this version, but. So this is a, so, so this is a little bit like, like a Spurks on steroids. Like there's a guy you can't, you can only stun, just like that. And there's other ones that you have to shoot, like these guys. So it's basically the Burks mechanic. And it's actually done really well. Um, you know, John did, I mean, it's a great job for a first ST game, really. I mean, and in some of these levels, supposedly, there's hidden versions of older Atari, Atari arcade games you can play and all kinds of stuff. But... Oops, okay, so let's see. Ooh. Ah, too many of those guys. See, every game John makes, he like throws all the stuff on the screen and it moves all smooth and fast. It's just hard, man. You can't, oh, you can only shoot them when they're in a certain. Okay. Oh. The sound is not incredible on this version. Like in, like I, I've never liked this. The Steam, I mean, I'm sure Steam doesn't sound fine. It's just for some reason this game is not emulating the sound all that well. Okay, I got out of there. It's a very well programmed game. Okay, let's try. I mean, you can tell why people were calling him up and asking him to start making all these C16 games, and then after this, games on the NES, and to do the Archer McLean games on the NES and the SNES. He's just a brilliant developer and programmer, especially. This game was made for Atari, supposedly. He got paid to make the game, but didn't earn any royalties on it. But it's a... I mean, it's action-packed, I gotta tell you. Especially for an ST game, but... A lot of the time, people didn't weren't really programmed the ST very well. I don't know. I don't like that sound that's coming from it, but okay. Oh, okay. So I haven't. I'm still on level one, by the way. You're supposed to be going up the level of a pyramid, but let's run. Okay, there's a there's a doorway right there. It's ready to go through. But... And I just say the maneuverability and playability. Except for going back and forth between the rooms, it, it it's very easy to control. Except for when that happens. Let's see if I can get. I don't like that hum, but Let's see this thing's chasing me. Okay, I just want to go in here. And more rooms. Oh, look at those little. I swear. I don't know why this game people more more people don't talk about this game. It didn't get a great review, but it was an ST action, and I don't trust XT action reviews. Although I love you guys, thank you for covering the ST, but still. 
you you basically gave every ST game a 79 and then some weird games you gave 90 90%. I was like, "Huh?" Ooh, look at tanks. All right. Well, that is an emulated version of Burks. Oh, excuse me, Burks of Paramax plus the other games by John Williams. And we'll play some more games. Hopefully I'll get some instructions and play some more of these. But they're fantastic. Try them out yourself. Uh, Paramax is on the Amiga and on the ST. The Burks games are on the C16 and the Atari 8-bit. Uh, different Burks games on each one. Uh, Time Slip is definitely on the C16 and I and also the Atari 8 bit for sure because we just played it on there. And um, what's the other one that we played? Well, let's get out of here. And um, Major Blink is on the C16 and the um, the 8 bits and they're fantastic. Uh, they're hard though. So it's a challenge. Okay, until next time, into the vertical blank. Into the vertical blank. An 8-Bit Rocket Studios production.